Hey everybody, I'm Austin J, and welcome back to West of Loathing. We've finally gone west to Dirtwater, I think? So, we're gonna see what happens there. I hope you guys enjoy, sit back, relax, and let's get right into it. I love this game. I think this game is so much fun. Okay. Oh, we got a friendly horseman. Can I talk to you? Oh, it went inside. The clerk clears your throat. Howdy, are the sheriff here? Are you the sheriff here? No, we don't have a sheriff. Offer to be the sheriff? Hell yeah! Um, do you have the law enforcement experience? Uh, lie. Why can't I lie? Have you been to sheriff school? Yes. Tell her yes. Do you have an existing relationship with Dirtwater's local government? Are you familiar with all the local ordinances? Do you even live here? I... no. Then what, may I ask, in tarnation, makes you think you'd be qualified to be the sheriff? I just assume. You just assume that you could mosey into town and become sheriff on your first day? Well, when you put it that way... <laughs> if I had five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist-looking kid who wanders in here thinking they're the most important tenderfoot to ever strap on iron, I wouldn't need this dead-end clerking job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Sure, if you're any good with a gun, there's always somebody in need of some justice. Wanted posters are back there. Sales are over yonder. Take your leave. It's a wanted poster. No, wait, you misread it. It's a wasted poster. Close enough. This poster reads, Wasted, the stripy hat gang for grand theft paint and tasteless hat vandalism. Last seen in the vicinity of Cavern Canyon. Thousand meat reward. Dirty, rotten paint thieves and low-down, no-fashion sense hat vandals. Despicable. Want to go after them? Yes. Nice. It's a wanted poster, or a uh, wanted poster, if accuracy is important. The House in the Desert Gang, for mortgage non-payment, squatting, and general public nuisance. Also for murder and two collection agents. Last seen at the House in the Desert, 500 meat reward. You wonder if the house is named after them, or if they're named after the house. In any case, at least their location is unambiguous. Want to go after them. Yeesh. You discovered the House in the Desert. He's <laughs> got a high step through the jail here. <laughs> oh, God. The stupid walking is my absolute favorite. It's so damn good. A ghost jail. Ghost cell. This cell is all ghostly. Alright. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Alright, out we go here. See you later, clerk. All right, let's see. I got new inventory items. Nasty ring. What does this do? Oh, it's worth 15 meat, huh? Okay. Interesting. All right, we're going to the desert house. Da -da -da -da. You find a crate of supplies bound for a nearby army fort. Looks like it fell off the wagon. Or the driver fell off the wagon and was too strict. Too, too drunk to strap it down. In any case, it looks like it got knocked open by the fall. You fish through the crate and help yourself to its military contents. It's not like those army cowards have any use for it. Back east in their coward hidey holes. You got an item, full canteen, and a silver bullet. Ooh, am I gonna face a werewolf? As you dismount and approach the house where the bandits are holed up, you hear a voice from inside say, What was that? Uh-oh. Looks like you're going to have to be sneaky if you want to avoid a full-on fracas. Sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? Yes, yeah, Sneaky is my middle name. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, I do. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the eyes! Oh, I love it. Okay, stupid sneaking. The best. Don't mind me. I'm gonna go sneak up on this here pooch. From the sound of it, you'd say this doghouse contains an angry dog. <laughs> this doghouse contains an angry dog. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. You're not going to be able to get past it without alerting the gang inside the house. Fight! Bring him on! Can I pat the dog? You got the jump on him this time. You will deal two to three damage to this target. Let's eat some meat. Get beefy AF! 
All right, you low down, lily livered, house stealing bastards. You're going down. This guy, oh, he looks the least angry. You look the most angry, so attack you first. Kerpow! Bitch! Each opponent will take three damage. Shoot one. Oh, nice! Let's kill him. Kablam! Holy shit, bang! Damn, girl, you crazy! You'll never take us alive, and you'll never get us to pay for the house! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh no. Do I, have, do I have something to heal myself? You don't have enough AP to use this skill. I have no action points remaining? Shit! Don't surrender. What does this do? Target will get wet. Why would... What the fuck? Yeah, let's kill this varmint. Kerblan! Oh, yes! Nailed it! Oh, wow. The best healing! I may die. This is not good. Oh, my health is getting low. Oh, my health is getting low. I'm dead. Damn it! <laughs> you gain an effect. Angry. <laughs> the bandits go back into the house after pausing you in a heat next to Sally Spooper. Hello, Sally Spooper. Can I go fight them? Again? <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. How much damage does this do? Four to five. Five to six. Okay. Do I try to fight them again? What is this? You're madder than a hornet. If your anger level gets higher than two, you'll pass out from rage. All right. Now I'm pissed off. Now you're going to fucking die, bastards. I'm going to sneak up on this here dog, and then I'm going to mess you up. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> I don't know what getting them wet would do. Cost one AP, usable once per bite. Okay, we're going to get beefy AF, and then my muscle's going to be downright disgusting. And we'll fuck this guy up. Kerblank! Alice, shoot all them bitches. Kapow! Hey. <laughs> you can't hurt. Oh my god, he shot twice. What a dickhole! Attack! Kapow! Gotcha, bitch! Alice, heal her up. We got work to be done, see? There's work needs doing. Ow. Ow. Okay. You're next, varmint. Kablam! He's almost dead. Alice, you need to heal her up again. Alice, you are the best traveling. You kick ass. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you can't kill me now. I'm set. Wait, what's my name? Outlaw. That's right. Sally is my horse. <laughs> Two down, one to go. I love how they stayed angry when they're dead. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. I also love that the sword does more damage than my gun. <laughs> uh, Alice, you can shoot this bastard. This one right here. Get out that shotgun and kablam! Kill him. Bunch of varmints! You got an item? Desert Gang 6 gun. And a black hat. Oh yeah. Alright, we need to put this on. Plus one moxie. Nice. Plus one armor. Hell yeah. I don't think my four gallon hat does shit. Ooh, it adds muscle. Ooh. Eh, I'll stick with the black hat. It looks awesome with the gun. Anything in there? The dog has wandered off in search of some better masters. Go in here. You can't go in there? Let me in. This place sucks. Well, that was all I could do was come here. I want to go inside their house. 
bunch of bastards. Back to dirt water we get. You stumble across an overturned stagecoach. Flip it over. You muster your strength and get the stagecoach right side up. It's still an abandoned stagecoach, but at least it's less of an ice. All right. Sounds good. All right, let's go back to the sheriff's office. <laughs> Dirt water post of ice. <laughs> I love it. All right. Was this still the same wanted poster? I got him. Oh, no, I got this one. I did that. Ha, huh, what do you need? Give her what's left of the desert house gang. Well, this, uh, this certainly is a bag of severed ears and teeth and such. Which gang was this? All right, 500 meat and 30 XP. Oh, a new one popped up. All right. We're going after these sons of bitches. The taste, the stripy hat gang. Wait. Oh, it's up here. The Dave Yard. A few hundred yards up the trail, you see a solitary skeleton trudging toward the northwest. It doesn't seem to have noticed you or anything else, really. Attack it. Hello, skeleton with a board! <laughs> I'm gonna use a little bit of meat and kick your ass. Oh, yeah! Nine to ten, ten to eleven. I'm gonna shoot it. Kablam! Pow! Got Get him, Doc Alice! <laughs> he whiffed. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, man. Skeleton down. You gain 10 XP skeleton bone, another gold tooth. Alice picks up a bone and examines it carefully. All right. To the Dave Yard. I really like that, that there's random stuff that you come across. That's cool as hell. I dig this up. Dig up the grave. Got brown boots. Hell yeah. What do they give me? What do these do? Maximum AP. Nice. Put them down for good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love the, like, jiggly skeleton face. That's awesome. Alright, let's get it. Kerblam! Fucking skeleton. Piece of shit! Pow! Whoa, ouch. You're no match for me, skeleton bones. Got skull chips. Okay. That's kind of gross. Here lies Dave C. Went down in a theater. Okay. Here lies Dave J. ra pa pa pow Another skeleton. Oh, he's got a board again. Yes. <laughs> this is so good. Oh, I hope he whiffs again. That shit was hilarious. Attack it! Bam! Alice, shoot him up good! Pow! Alice, we gotta make you better. Oh, he got me. Ouch. You have a board, I have a sword, and now you're dead. Another skeleton bone. Two skeleton bones. Alright, cool. Onward. Dink a dink a dink a dink. Here lies Dave L. Died of a heart attack. See you in minus 36 years. Here lies Dave G. He was looking to the sky to save him, but even the sky can't save a feller from like 40 angry bears. Oh boy, free lunch. Thermos of spiked coffee, Vienna blood sausages. Beat the dickens out of him. He's got a chef hat. Yes. Can I have that chef hat that also looks like SpongeBob's butt? Bam! Oh. Get him, Alice! Oh my god, no! Oh, spooky! Spooky skeleton, you're dead! Pow! Got him! Alright. You check the bones for Dickens. Nope, you beat them all out. I got another gold, too. Oh, the writing in this is fantastic. What's in here? Wait, I want to read these various times first. There's another skeleton. Here lies Dave D. The truth was out there. It killed him. Murdered by a different feller named Dave G. Wow, that's unfortunate. It's a pile of bones that isn't moving for a change. Dig through it. I got an item, a skull with an odd tag on it. What's in here? Ooh. 
Skeletons. Look through you? What's this plant over here? The shadows are moving and it's creepy. This is one of those things they have in mausoleums. You know, one of those big marble things with drawers full of skeletons? Open a whole bunch. Open one. You got the jump on them. Okay. Get beefy! Kerplow! He's gonna have spooky attack on me again. Kabam! Oh! Ah, minus five. Ouch. Kapow! Bitch, thought you could get me. More skull chips. Alice has become stronger. Alice studies the remains of your undead foes. Her eyes light up. Evidently, she's had an epiphany of some sort. Awesome. Okay, how many do I have to fight? You got to jump on him. Get him. Bam! Ooh, he's... Oh, shit, I forgot to get beefy. Damn it! That's alright, Alice will fuck him up. Ow! Jesus! Get your board out of here, you bitch! Bang! Oh, I almost killed him with one shot. Pow! Alice got him, though. Another gold tooth and more skull chips. I wonder how many of these are here. If I have to fight every single one, that would be ridiculous. Alright, let's get beefy again. He's got a shitload of health. Why does it... Huh. That's weird. Oh, I might not be angry anymore. That would make sense. Pow! Shoot his ass in. Kablam! More skull chips. Alright, I see. So when I win fights, Alice gets harder. I'm just going to open a whole bunch. Eh, three isn't a big deal. Alright, he has a board, so I definitely need to fuck him up. This one's got spooky attacks. That guy might have a gun. Okay. I'm gonna get beefy. Get beefy. I would assume the silver bullet is for some kind of werewolf of some sort. So I'm not gonna mess with that yet. Shoot him all, Alice! Bust him up! Yeah! Ow. Ow! Spooky ghosts! Ow! Alright. Shoot this guy again. He should die. Pow! Oh, he's not dead. Fuck. Alice. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll shoot because that'll kill one and injure the others. And then on the next turn, you can heal. Ow. God damn it! If I die, I am gonna be so mad. Bunch of bullshit. This guy has a gun. I think he's doing more damage. Alice, heal me. Make me better, please! Ow! God damn it! It's such bullshit. Shoot him again! Shoot him again! Heal me back up! Oh damn, she got a ton of healing that time. You bastards are no match for me. Shoot this guy too, and then Alice might be able to kill him. Ah, it's not gonna do enough damage. She'll kill one. Bang! You're the only one that's left, spooky chef hat man! And now, I'm gonna fuck you up! Dun 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 dun! Ta -ta! Yes! Victory! Bunch of skeleton bones. How many of these things are there? All right, one more set of fights. Okay, let's do this. Why is my... My ability to do stuff is going down. It's not good. I don't like it very much. Kablam! Alice, shoot them all. Kerpow! Ow. Ow. Spooky ghosts! Shoot him again. Kapow! Alice, shoot him again. Then we'll have to have you heal me. Ow. This is not good. My health is getting low. Maybe I'll get angry. <laughs> Seven to eight. I don't know why the, like, the damage amounts go down. He's almost dead. Sweet. 
Alice, give me some health back, please. You're so helpful, I knew it was a good idea to have a doctor with me. Ouch. Stop that, you spooky bastards! He's got three health left, you have 13. Shoot him, and then Alice should be able to kill you both. Alice, finish him off. Kaba! Yes! <laughs> oh, a handful of loose teeth, a gold tooth. Yes, Alice became stronger again. Damn, okay, I'm just not gonna bother with that anymore. Okay. Hey, what's in here? Oh boy. This doesn't look good. It's a big stone sarcophagus. Some kind of ritual circle drawn in the ground in red chalk. What is this in it? This is a pile of mostly burned rags that maybe used to be a person? Got human ashes and a gore splattered scroll. You got an item, a robe receipt. Can I light this candle? I really think this candle needs to be lit. What items do I have? Hmm. Oh. The skull has a little paper tag tied to it, which has Inter Cemetery Loan on one side and some notes on the other. You discover a new lap map location, Old Mission. The tag on the skull is a serial number and says it was barred from the submission catacombs on February 19, 1886. The back of the tag has catacombs address. Skulls, check them out. Thermos of spiked coffee. Increases your speed by one for the rest of the day. Okay, skeleton bones, I can score. Alright, this scroll is almost too covered in blood and viscera to read. Lucky for you, you've gotten all that practice reading inside of a dog. What the shit? You scrape the largest of the giblets of the, off the scroll and read it. It says to take a pile of human ashes, spread them out in the shape of a person inside a red chalk ritual circle, then sprinkle them with stardust and place a mostly perfect or better glass sphere where the heart would be. Anyway, that's the gist of it. The actual text has a lot more these and thous and such, like, such as that. Plus there's a bunch of weird gibberish you're supposed to say out loud while you're doing it. Okay. So I need other stuff. Examine the human ashes. Scatter them. Am I standing in the circle? What happens if I... I, I better hang on to him, I would think. Okay. Maybe I can... What other stuff do we have here? Skull chips gold tooth. If I scatter the ashes, you find a pla- Oh, damn it. It probably needed those. Whatever. That's fine. Shit. This is broken. Is there anything else in here? Oh, whoa, I could do it. Perform the ritual. Fortunately, you don't have any human ashes on you. God! Son of a damn it! <sighs> Sometimes I make mistakes in this game. Just a skeleton bones. He's not worth anything. Oh, I am still angry. Okay. Well, that was an interesting adventure. If I go to my map, I can just hit wander. You discovered a new map location. Button Willow McKittrick store. Go there now. Oh, alright. Anything interesting at the store? Is there anything useful here? Let's find out. Hello, Button Willow McKittrick. Shelves laden with various goods. This barrel smells like pickles and looks like an empty pickle barrel. Right. The woman behind the counter stares at you with a huge grin on her face. She gestures at the goods she's got for sale. Take a look. Oh my god. Click an item in your inventory or the store. I can sell stuff. I don't need these. Sell those. I probably don't need this deputy pistol. I could sell that. Why can't I... Oh, there we go. 
Anything else I can sell you? No. Okay, what do you have? Advanced cow punching? Ooh, bar of soap. Oh, I can't go back there anyway. Son of a bitch. Disposable binoculars, a hammer, mind your meat. Wow, that's expensive. Pickaxe and a shovel are super expensive. I'm gonna get advanced cow punching. This is a single volume from a sprawling encyclopedia of cow punching knowledge. Okay. The soap is only 50. I'm gonna buy that too, just to have it. Thank you. Alright, back out we go. Button Willow, see you later. Let's read this here. Book on advanced cow punching. There's a chapter about adapting the stampeding behaviors of demonic cattle for human use. Gives bull stomp. There's a really interesting article about punching people so hard that they stop moving. Gives Haymaker, a combat skill that deals damage and briefly stuns an enemy. Gives an essay about how to do a particular kind of sit-up that makes your abs really thick. Gives Brawny that increases your maximum HP. Let's learn Haymaker. Oh, Unfortunately, by the time you're done practicing, you've splattered the book with cactus juice. Ruining. Wow. Great. Can I buy it again? <laughs> Dang it! Son of a bitch. Well, I can punch shit in the face real well now. Alright, button willow. We'll see your ass later. I'm off to... Actually, we'll wander real fast. Let's see if I find anything. You discovered Fort Cowardice? Hell yeah! What's at Fort Cowardice? Hello, cannons. Just like the old saying goes, when life gives you cannons, make a cannonade. Fort Cowardice. Cowards! Come on out now, you hear? My name's Outlaw Varmint, here to kick some ass. You climb up into the watchtower and took a, take a look around. Nice view from up there. Okay. Administration and mess hall. Oh, drawers. Examine them. They are incredibly boring. Uh, yes, another, another... No another, no another, no another. Now you're just looking at the same ones you've read before. What is wrong with you? Come on. I'm quite sure that if I keep doing this, I will learn something. Hold on. I got this. Damn it. Didn't learn anything. Shit. This, this was once a reception desk, but now the most appropriate thing for you to receive would be a free trip to the dump. All right. Looks like there's some, still some good mess left. Hard tech, military grade whiskey. All right, sweet. Blech. It's a spice rack. It's a bunch of unlabeled green shakers. Better leave them alone. They might be poison instead of spices. Well, that would be unfortunate. The cupboard is bare, and also it's not really a cupboard. Oh, oh, okay. Pick the lock. Go in. Who's in here? Hello there, friendo. Says. Whoa! The fu- Oh my god, what are you shooting at? I will mess you up, boy! The goblin seated at the desk is repeatedly firing his pistol at the pie scene. Get their attention with violence? No. Shooting pies! Always! Always shooting pies! Could you elaborate on that? Why shooting a pie? To destroy, obviously! Must be destroying a terrible pie! What's wrong with pie? Bah! A human will never understand it! Ask again. Shut up! So much angry! Keep trying. Destroy! Uh-huh! You certain being. Waiting here, I will check it. I'm gonna fight this fucker. Hurrying and checking a pie! Let me fight him. Damn it. You peek through the bullet holes. Yep, the pie is shot to hell. Fight him! Hooray! You are a success! A pie is so very destroyed, Bean. I... I doing it? So much do. But now what? Huh? What are you shooting now? Um, I guess you finding another pie? What? There are more pies, being? Yes, a world full of pies. Oh no! This violencing will never end it! Sorry, being, not wishing to enabling this behavior. No! This is my cross-bearing! I must going and continuing the fight! Cool. 
Okay, thanking you! Okay, I'm wishing you good luck against the forces of Pi. General Gob strides out the door, jaw cleansed, eyes resolute with Pi hatred. Well, that was weird. I guess I'm the general. Great. The General of Fort Cowardice. That's me. Fantastic. Oh, this was a strange trip. A tent. What's in here? You hear the sounds of several goblins, snot goblins snoring inside the tent. Go in, guns blazing. Oh boy. We got the jump on them. Yeah, sure we did. Punch your target for 10 damage and disable them for one round. We'll see how much da damage they do before I go about doing that. 7 to 8. One. Wow, they do low damage. Jesus. I'm gonna get you, motherfucker. Kapow! What is this? That's not a skeleton. Oh, I can fuck up the skeletons? Sweet. Alice is a badass. She does so much damage. Ouch. Hey! Hey, you leave Alice alone, you motherfucker! Oh my god, stop! You son of a bitch! How dare you! You better die. There we go. Attack, Alice. She ain't done nothing to nobody, no how. Heal yourself, Alice. That's better. Ouch. Ouch. Shoot this son of a bitch over here. Kapow! Alice, fuck them up. Bang! One left. Fucking goblins. Sons of bitches. Try to mess with my friend Alice? She got a shotgun, and she angry and drunk. Bunch of bitches. Now, oh, head into the tent. Ooh, stuff to open. Kick it open. Chemical bullet and hard tech. I don't have any needles left. Shit. Open the footer. Military grade whiskey and a full canteen. Foot locker is empty. Oh, a med tent. Can I go in it? What's in here? Ooh. Render them looted. Army field trauma kit, military grade whiskey, a safe. Crack the... I need safe cracking. Dang it. Based on the papers and anatomical diagrams scattered across its surface, you're guessing the desk belonged to Fort Cowardice's nurse. Look at the papers. You got an item marching to orders. They're just a bunch of disgusting drawings of sliced open bodies. Oh. Kinda gross. What are the marching orders? Read them. You discovered a new map location, Fort All Dead. A gale ought to be careful. Alright. Let's keep on a going. The sign says toilet and goblin, which makes it seem pretty likely that goblins use this tent as a toilet. No way are you gonna go. I can't just go in there anyway? Yikes, this mass hat definitely got somebody fired. An unusually sized can Demi Culverin cannonball. Great. Sweet. I need a needle so I can open that. So I'm going to go back to the store. Button Willow. I should have bought a couple of needles while I was there. You find a wrecked bank stagecoach with a strong box in the back. It's too heavy to carry, but too locked to open. Can't do shit without needles. I should have bought like ten of them. Damn it. But Willow, I require needles. Oh, I can only buy one? Shit. That's useless to me, Willow. Why can I only buy one goddamn needle at a time? Maybe I can go out and come back in and buy another. Let's find out. Need to find more haystacks. Okay, well, shoot. Damn, nabbit, shit. Alright, well, we're going back then. You encounter an overturned wagon surrounded by ruined books and broken pairs of spectacles. Looks like a family of especially literate homesteaders met an untimely end here. Tragic. You got an item, Advanced Cow Punching Volume 281. Nice. That is a really cool mechanic that as you're going places you find stuff. Where's my book here? Read it. Learn? Okay, let's see. Ever Vigilant, a perk that increases your maximum attack points by two. Bull Stomp or Brawny. Ever Vigilant increases your maximum attack points by two. I kind of want to have Ever Vigilant. Sweet. 
Then you shoot the book into pieces because you don't trust it or anything else. You know. Oh, whoops. Oh, there we go. Let's go into the medical tent and open that. Oh, no, that is the wrong tent. Wrong tent. This one over here. This one. That's what we need to open. An incendiary bullet. Oh, shit's gonna get set on fire. Hell yeah. What does this do? Increases your muscle mysticality of moxie by one for the rest of the day. That's nice. Alright, railroad camp. The Dave Yard. Let's go back down to dirt water. Cleared everything out. Howdy there, I'm Wandered Sally. Howdy Sally, I'm Outlaw. What's your line? Trading. I wander all around these lands, just like it says on the label, and I buy a little here and I sell a little there to make my case. Care to see the wares? Please have needles. That would be sweet. I requires them. Work boots. Fungicide bomb. Oh, that's good for getting rid of goblins. Nice. Needles. Oh. What? Yes, now I just have a shitload of needles. A lock. I feel like that might be a good thing just to have. I'm gonna buy it. Just in case. Okay, see you later, Wandering Sally. Nice to, nice to, nice to have met you. Back to dirt water. You see a streak of fire blast across the sky and land just over the horizon. You ride to the side of the impact and find a meteor. A meteor. <laughs> I got 600 meat. Nice. Most lucrative meteor ever. All right, let's go in here. Uh, hang on. Just wanted to say hi. Shit. I thought... Hang on. The stripy hat gang. Oh, they're at the Cavern Canyon. I went to the wrong place. Alright, we're gonna go get the, the stripy hat guy. Old mission, fort all dead. Where is the cavern canyon? The desolate, lonesome coast? Ah, over here. We're right now! You discovered a new lap map location, Silversmith's house. What do you have? Do you have extra things? Fancy things? Ooh, a table of stuff. The sign says silver bullet making apparatus help yourself. The workbench has a little burner crucible for melting silver things and some bullet molds. It seems pretty straightforward. There's also a vite vice so you could smash silver bullets into needles if you wanted to. Make three bullets, make needles. Make one bullet. Okay, that'll be fine. Pick the lock go inside. Why is this? No, there's nobody in here. Books! The bookshelf contains like 90 copies of Johnny Tremaine. There's something weird about it though. It's too neatly organized. Like maybe the guy was hiding something. Wait. I have stuff that increases my moxie, don't I? How much moxie do I have? I have seven moxie. Military grade whiskey. My moxie. Yes, sir. Eight. Nine. You can't drink that because you're already drunk. Oh, whoops. Uh, puts out fires. Hermes of Spike Coffee. Increase my speed. Increases muscle. Dang it! Moxie, that's nine. <laughs> so close. Please. I don't have anything else. Shit. I wonder how long I have to wait before I can drink more of this here military whiskey. Damn it. Alright, I guess we're waiting. What's on here? The shelf looks pretty picked over. Instant grits and plum pudding. Excellent. Will either of those increase my moxie? Instant grits or plum pudding? Yes! 
You gain an effect. Plum exuberant. No dark sarcasm here. Okay, let's open this bookshelf. Yes, search for secrets! You discovered a new map location, the Silver Plater. Okay. Can I open this? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't have safe cracking. Alice, how are you doing? <gasps> Another spittoon! Oh, I'm a-digging through it. A spittoon. At least it looks like a spittoon, but it's next to the bed. It might actually be a bedpan. Investigate. What? Really? I mean, if it's just a spittoon, that's bad enough. But it might be a bedpan, and that'd be way worse. Investigate it, I said. I feel like maybe you aren't getting what I'm saying. We're talking about an object that someone probably uses when they wake up in the middle of the night and can't be bothered to walk to the outhouse. And the best you could hope for is maybe they only use it to spit nighttime tobacco juice into. In which case, it's only full of rancid, congealing tobacco spit. I'm investigating it. I, are you even listening to me? Or are you just sort of skimming past the text, BEDPAN? Look, I'm pretty sure there's treasure in there and you aren't stopping me. <laughs> Shut up, I'm investigating. Okay, fine. Have it your way, your own filthy, disgusting way. It turns out to probably not be a bedpan, but is definitely a spittoon, and is definitely filled with rotting brown spit. What is wrong with you? Bite me! Okay, God. <laughs> Good, God. Okay, you plunge your hand into it up to the wrist. It makes a gloop noise and breaks the skin skin of thin skin of congealing toxins that was previously keeping the dire smell in relative check. Now you are choking on a miasma of oily, bitter chaw sting. You know that feeling you get when you're about to puke? How you get that taste way back in the rear corners of your mouth? That metallic tang by the root of your tongue like you're sucking on a corroded old penny? Just tell me what I found. You got a revolting brooch. <laughs> Oh, it's so goddamn hilarious. Alright, what does this thing do? What does it do? Yes! Look at all the muscle and mysticality and moxie I got. I'm a badass. Alright. Alright, we were going to... The Cavern Canyon. So that's where we're gonna head to. You stumble across an overturned stagecoach. Okay. Good job. Good job. All right, danger spider. What's up? Ouch. He gads. Ah, oh, I still need foraging. What's in here? Hey, stripey hat bastards. You wanna fight, sons of bitches? You kind of look like you're ready for jail, and one of them is a wolf. Okay, you are really pushing your luck here. If they get any closer, they're definitely going to attack you. Okay, vital. Yes! Let's do this! Get beefy, AF. Can I set them on fire? Try to shoot this target, we'll hit a sturdy barrel instead. We'll deal 11 to 12 damage to this target and set them on fire. But won't end my turn? Oh, hell yeah, you're getting set on fire. Sorry about your luck. Bang! Oh, the, I thought there would be a cool little fire thing. Damn it. Uh, it's gonna hit the barrel. Shoot him. What? You shouldn't waste bullets shooting at nothing. Ferdinand Jenkins. Shoot him up. Bang! Sally? Er, I don't know. Kapow! Oh, yes, she got the barrel. I regret nothing! These hats look really great! Oh, she died. Ouch. God damn it. Stop that bunch of blathering, you bitches. And get shot. Pow! Oh, yeah. You take the leader's tattooed tooth as a means of identifying him. You also got one of those horrible hats as a souvenir. Nice. What does my stripy hat do? Minus three moxie. This hat is terrible, and everyone will hate you if you wear it. <laughs> oh, damn. Danger kitchen. Danger bar. Okay. Hello. The poor chef is chained to the wall. His eyes widen as you approach. Hey, you're not one of them. Are you here to rescue me? Sure. Okay, thank goodness. He thrusts his hand into yours and shakes fingers. I'm Doug. Outlaw. How you doing, Doug? Well, I've been chained up in this dank cave for weeks. 
cooking for those strap-headed idiots. That sounds awful. You want to know the worst part? There's a perfectly good oven eight feet to my right, and a shelf of perfectly good ingredients eight feet to my left. This chain is only four feet long. Ah, oh, that's rough. I know, right? There I was, fresh out of culinary school with a million meat idea in my head. And now here I am, four feet shy of my dreams, cooking the same pot of soup over and over again. What million meat idea? You, uh, you promised not to steal my idea, right? Yeah, I promise. Okay, then. It's a new kind of sandwich, or maybe a taco. It's so revolutionary that I'm not quite sure where it fits in the whole hand food taxonomy, to be honest. Anyway, in the middle of it, there's a sausage. But it's a sausage made from the cheapest possible parts of a pig, ground up so finely that you can't ad identify them. And it's served in a long split roll, which soaks up the grease so you can't tell how fatty the sausage is. I believe that's a hot dog. And the best part, the name. You ready to hear the name? I call it the Hot Dug. <laughs> what do you think? How about the Hot Outlaw instead? Yes. Don't be ridiculous, Hot Outlaw. What does that even mean? Haha, <laughs> ridiculous. Hey, there's no need to be mean about it. Not that any of this even matters. Even if I did get off this chain, there's no point in hanging around this empty cave, making hot dugs just for myself. I don't even like the taste of it. You could set up shop at Dirt Butter. Brilliant. You're a genius. Hot dugs for sale. All day, every day. I'll make a mint. Say, there's an idea. What if I added mint to the sausage? You help him break his chains. He leaves the cave, hauling the oven and shelf full of ingredients, muttering to himself about new sausage recipes. Great. Nothing on this shelf looks good. Okay, let's go check out the bar. Then we'll return to dirt water and collect our reward. Rocks. A mug. All these bottles are empty. Gimme. No, the mug. Get the... Get the... Are you serious? Get the mug. Looks like this place needs a new bartender. You got a jaw. Why can't I... <sighs> That's annoying. I just wanted the mug. Oh. There are a few bottles left on this shelf. Cheap whiskey, cheap tequila, and cheap wine. Alrighty. Back to dirt water. I got a whole shitload of stuff in my damn inventory. Alright. Return to dirt water. We'll check on hot dogs and we'll get our reward. Oh, I made it without any, uh, uh, interactions, I guess, is what you would call them. Alright, I got the stripy hat, gang. This here's a tooth. Yep, that's the tattooed tooth of the leader of the stripy hat, gang. Alright, I'd recognize it anywhere. Got him. Okay. Alright, guys. I'm gonna leave it there. We've got more wanted posters to go after. I didn't actually see if he was... There was a lot. There it is. Hot dog. Oh, he changed the name. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. I absolutely love this game. It's really hard for me to stop playing. I can play this game for hours straight. So I really hope you guys are enjoying this episode. This game is so damn fun. But yeah. If you did, punch that like button. Like Mike fucking Tyson. And I will catch you guys in the next one.